Welcome to the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya here in Spain for what is expected to be a very closely contested race. It's 2.89 miles around the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya, seven lefts and nine rights that make up a total of 16 corners. Probably one of the best opportunities for overtaking is down the main straight and into the first turn. That's one of the two DRS zones the drivers will be able to use this weekend. In commentary, I'm Alex Jakes and I'm joined once again by 2012 GP2 champion Davide Valsecchi. Davide, I imagine you've been around this track countless times by now. Any tips for the drivers out there today? Yeah, you're right. This is a track that has been in rotation for both Formula 1 and Formula 2 for years now. My advice is to watch your tires management. The track has a bumpy surface that can be very demanding on drivers and tires. Play it safe most of the way around, then look at the long straight into turn 1 for overtake opportunities. As the engineers make their last inspection of the cars, let's take a look at today's grid order for the race. A fantastic effort from Mick Schumacher yesterday puts him on pole position. And it's Nobuharu Matsushita alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Sonoda, Eilot, Guan Yu Zhou, and PK, Sato, Schwartzman, Tictum, Jack Aitken, Lungard, Armstrong, Luca Giotto, and Deruvula, Dragovic, Markalov, Ace, and Louis Delatraz. Samaya, Mazepin, Nisani, and Sean Galeo completes the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track.
10 now. Keep it up. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. Just ahead, push hard, the gap to the car ahead is 1.4 seconds, they're on fresh softs. Eight can behind, the gap is less than a second, they're on fresh softs. The distance to the leader is 6.7 seconds. Look after these tires now, we want to finish the race on this compound. Just three laps to go now, three laps. in this race are Tictum and Aitken. Behind is 8.6 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're in 19. The time last lap was a 134.1.
race. Ninth position, tick them ahead. Gap to car in front is 4.1 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Schwartzman is behind you. Less than a second separate you. They're on fresh softs. Okay, gap to leader, 10.0 seconds. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Pick up rubber and bring it home. A great win then for the Prima team today. Tell me, Davide, what was the key to this success? This race, this win, was about one thing and one thing only. Consistency. Anyone can be quick for just one lap, but there's a difference between that and being quick every lap, over and over and over. If you can do that, if you can gain ground when your opponents make mistakes, but then not make mistakes on your own, you can just push and push. It looks like it's time for the victory ceremony once again, as I can see the drivers beginning to make their way out for the celebrations. You can see it on their faces. It's another marvelous team win for Prema today. And now let's take a look at the driver's stack. It's a good result for Mick Schumacher, who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? They fought so hard and had the incredible pace at times, so I don't think anyone did a better job today. And now a look at the team standings. Prima extend their lead at the top of the championship. Another team that will be satisfied with this race is Charousse, whose good result moves them further up in the championship. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.